Java is written in Unicode and therefore class names and interface names are going to consist of Unicode characters. Now uh, not all characters, Unicode characters, are acceptable to the file system and um, some of them um, are difficult to enter as well. So uh, what you need is a way to escape um, those uh, difficult to enter characters and uh, this is the way it's done. Now obviously you can't use backslash u as you would normally do because backslash uh, quite often has a special meaning for file systems so that's not acceptable and um, what's used instead is um, the at character and uh, if at has got a special meaning in the file system you uh, can use something else and that's generally specified by the host file system so uh, naive.java and that's an i with two dots on it by the way um, might be written like this is na at 00ef which is the i with two dots on it ve.java and uh, this is obviously the four characters four hexadecimal characters corresponding to the i with two dots on okay um, right there is um, at least one unnamed package in the system that's a requirement and uh, there may in fact be more than one there may be one for every directory in the hierarchy but of course only only one um, uh, only the one in the current working directory is available now the details of this sort of thing are are dependent on the host system and um, and on the particular compiler that you're using as well so in fact you should always specify a package um, unnamed packages where you know where you don't specify packages goes to the unnamed one so unnamed packages are really only there for small temporary applications that take about five minutes to write and you just want to run it have a look at something and then throw it away um, another thing to encourage you to not use the unnamed package is the fact that you can't import from an un from the unnamed package Okay. Um, now uh, we're talking about various implementations of Java and the Java compiler, and um, some implementations. In some implementations, the um, the Java package and the compilation units they're stored not in a file system but in a um, a database instead of this hierarchical file system, or it could be a distributed database. And in that case, of course, some some restrictions, such as only one public class or interface per compilation unit, don't necessarily apply. However, irrespective of that, there's there's always got to be a way of translating from this database or whatever the system is to this standard hierarchical file system method. So, um, this method of, of storing it in a hierarchical file system is kind of like um, a canonical in that everything's got to have a way of, whatever you do it's got to be a way of translating to it and from it to the, your particular system okay, so th this provides um, the ability to port stuff between various implementations in effect